the extension granted by INEC? Was it necessary? Why was that? Why was it necessary? And how uh, uh, is there fear that maybe February next year we could see an extension if they can do this at the very last minute? So let's talk about what we know. One, we know that the commission was put under pressure to shift I, the date. By? I would say by the ruling party, um, um, or uh, as well as other political parties. We know that for sure. That we know that. Secondly, we know that, you know, this extension by the expiration of this extension, some parties will still not be ready um, to conduct or nominate their candidates. We know that for sure. The third thing we know is that given this extension, we know political parties and, and, and even the incumbents may also demand an extension down the line. Um, and this is problematic for our electoral process. Now, let's be very clear that I am not anti-extension, that yes, INEC as an institution um, should create an enabling environment where political parties you know, can perform their roles, right? But it's just inexplicable that an act that was signed into law in February 25th and INEC released the timetable and schedule for, um, uh, for the elections um, on the 28th, um, of, no, on the 26th, thereabout, yes, of, of February. The parties had 60 days to prepare for the primaries. How come they weren't ready? Why did they all fix their primaries at the last week when the deadline of the primaries was meant to be um, concluded?